We've heard from the Petroleum Council that says this will produce jobs and oil and manufacturing locally. Why are you opposed to this? Well, it is a threat to our vibrant economy along the entire length of the Atlantic coast, which is basically tourism, commercial fishing, and recreation. The Atlantic coast is not petroleum. It is not that type of industry. The Gulf has that. They've been like that for a long time. We don't envy the Gulf. We don't want their economy, and we certainly don't want the pollution that's going to come with it. Every oil well leaks. Just a question of how much. Is it going to be small amounts of oil coming out that's going to wash ashore, that's going to turn into little tar balls that people are going to have to scrape off the bottom of their feet when they go into the Atlantic? Or is it going to be something on the magnitude of the Deepwater Horizon, which I will remind you was a test well due to human error? There's no science, there's no new technology that's going to stop human error. And in fact, 20%, according to the federal statistics, 20% of all outer continental shelf oil leaks and spills are due to human error. So no new technology is ever going to get rid of at least 20% of the chance of oil spills. The Trump administration proposing to expand offshore drilling. Meanwhile, here in North Carolina, Governor Cooper has stated that his administration opposes seismic testing and offshore drilling. Does this end up being a political tug of war? How could this play out? First of all, Thank you very much to your governor and his leadership on this issue. And he joins the governor of South Carolina, who is a Republican, in opposing offshore drilling and seismic testing. And the governor of Virginia, who opposes both. Uh, Governor of New Jersey, another Republican, opposes both. The governor of Maryland, uh, another Republican, that opposes both. This is a bipartisan opposition that's being developed, or actually already is developed, all the way along the eastern seaboard. We are very thrilled about this. So this is not a partisan issue. It is a matter of most local governments, state governments, local residents, the business community, certainly the environmental community, and residents along the coast who have formed a wall of opposition to the desires of the Trump administration to drill for oil off the Atlantic coast and to threaten our economy. So it's not a tug of war because the ultimate decision is in the hands of President Trump and his Secretary of Interior, Mr. Zinke. But it's going to be a really hard-fought process if they decide to move forward. And you can expect with that type of wall of opposition, and I forgot to mention the 10 attorney generals from the East Coast, that there will be lawsuits flying to stop this. What kind of harm is there to marine wildlife if there is indeed an oil spill? Oh, the harm to marine wildlife starts with the testing for oil, the seismic air gun blasting. It harms, kills marine mammals, commercial fishing, turtles, invertebrates, you name it. Anything that lives in the ocean when they are testing for oil deposits using seismic air gun blastings, which is the loudest noise in the ocean that goes off every 10 to 12 seconds in the area that they're surveying, the marine life is going to be seriously impacted. And so both mammals, whales, dolphins, commercial fish, you name it, is going to be harmed. And when they are harmed, when the ocean marine life is harmed, there's a direct negative impact on the economy of those states. And that is why the business community is fighting so hard against this. Is there concerns health-wise for us as well of, of getting seafood, especially from areas where they might be drilling or there could be spills? Yes, there's a big danger in that. But first, what will happen is if they do the seismic testing, your fresh catch is going to cost more because the commercial fishermen won't be able to find that fresh catch. The fish will move. So it's going to be less fresh catch, and it's going to be cost more when it lands on your plate. I did talk to a commercial fisherman 30 years down in the Gulf, and she was telling me that you can cut open some of the fish that they are catching, and there will be oil oozing right beneath their skin. And now they have to throw that away. But how much of that is tainted that does end up on the Gulf, you know, fish coming out of the Gulf, I don't know. But it's certainly not a good uh, habitat for the commercial fish that you would like to eat to be swimming in oil or to be feeding off of uh, the seabed that has been drenched in oil. 
if people are concerned about this, then they need to contact the Department of Interior, U.S. Department of Interior, and their agency, the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, and they need to express this. They need to express it to your congressman. You have some congressmen in North Carolina who still favor offshore drilling, even in the face of all the people who are against it. For some reason, they still support it. Contact those members of Congress from North Carolina and tell them that you may live in Raleigh, but you are still concerned about the health of the Atlantic Ocean and the East Coast economy. And tell them to not support it and ask them to contact the Secretary Zinke and say, do not allow offshore drilling in the Atlantic.